Border queues built as people flee Russia to escape Putin's call up. Long lines of vehicles continue to form at Russia's border, crossing on the second full day of Vladimir Putin's military mobilization, with some men waiting for over 24 hours as Western leaders disagree over whether Europe should welcome those fleeing the call up to fight in Ukraine. The Russian president's decisions to announce the first mobilization since the Second World War. Has led to a rush among men of military age to leave the country, likely sparking a new, possibly unprecedented brain drain in the coming days and weeks. Witnesses on the border with Georgia, a popular route used by Russia to leave the country, said that some men reports to use bicycle and scooter to skip the mile-long queue of traffic jams. Footage from the scene circulating on social media appeared to confirm these reports. I have been waiting in my car since Thursday afternoon," said Anton, to decline to give his surname, fearing it might complicate his travel. Everyone is worried that the border will be closed by the time we get anywhere close to it," he added. Usually sleepy borders crossing to Kazakhstan and Mongolia have also been overwhelmed by the sudden influx of Russians looking for a way out. Russian international borders remain open for now. But there are widespread fear Putin will impose martial law next week in an effort to prevent a further outflow of men from leaving the country. Countless social media groups have popped up offering advice on how to flee Russia, while independent news sites operating from outside the country give a list of where to run away right now from Russia. Meanwhile, there were calls in the West to reserve some of its travel restrictions imposed on Russia following the country's invasion on 23rd of February. It may be the moment to rethink the issue of visas to Russia. Helping the men who want to flee from being mobilized would be a humanitarian and military good decision, tweeted Gennard Araud, a veteran French diplomat and former ambassador to the U.S. Germany on Friday opened the door to the possibility of allowing Russian deserter to enter its country, saying that it welcomed reports that many Russian did not want to fight in Ukraine. Many Russians who are now being called up do not want to take part in this war either. This is a good sign, a government spokesperson told journalists at a news conference. A way must be left open for Russian to come to Europe and also to Germany. They added. But the three Baltic countries and Poland, nations that earlier this week closed their border to most Russian, have so far pushed back against offering refugees to fleeing Russians. Finland, the last EU country that still allow entries to Russian with tourist visa, said on Friday that it would significantly restrict the entry of Russian citizens after Finland saw an influx over its eastern border following Russia mobilization order. Those that have made it across the country say that despite all the trouble, they were glad to be out of reach of the Russian military recruitment centers, and have already drafted hundreds of men. Oleg, who on Thursday told the Guardian about his plan to flee the country by driving from the southern city of Orenburg to Kazakhstan, said he spent more than seven hours at the border before eventually making it out of Russia. At some point, I was getting desperate," he said. "But it was definitely worth the wait. Russia has faced problem with training and equipment throughout the conflict so far, and the official said that would almost certainly extend to newly posted recruits. We think that they will be very challenging in training, let alone equipping such a large force quickly," the official said. Recruits will likely be issued old stuff and unreliable equipment," they said. Western official believe there was a clear regional bias in Russian recruitment, focusing on poor and minority areas in the country's east and avoiding the country's middle class urban centers. We are not as yet seeing the moment recruiting teams in Saint Petersburg or Moscow, an official said. Western officials are not keen to engage particularly with Putin's recent nuclear threat, Putin's. But they did say they believe that it was not necessarily the case that any Ukrainian territory answered in the coming days and week through a so-called referendum would be deemed as covered by Moscow nuclear umbrella. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.